if you're starting up your feminine hygiene journey and you want to you know you want to know the basic things you need to get to start at least smelling good and, and feeling good actually this is the video for you hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it is oenye here if you're new highly welcome on this channel we talk about skincare self-care the general well-being of well-being of the you know feminine body and if that's what you love to hear about please do well to subscribe and without further ado let's jump right into this video okay. anyway so on today's video we're going to be tackling the basic things you need for your feminine hygiene startup okay okay we're going to start from your mouth what you need what did i just say mouth <laughs> i'm going to start from the mouth okay first of all you need your brush and your toothpaste okay leave all those uh, electric toothbrush shenanigans yeah all of us like all those fancy things but you're going to start with your toothpaste and a toothbrush to brush your teeth every single day and i've been trying to be you know to do this brushing twice a day i've not been keeping up i'm not going to lie I'm not, i could not keep up but i try my best whenever i remember because when i was little there was one time i tried to brush my teeth twice a day my father was like not in this house how many we are five in our house actually so we are trying to you know make everything reach everybody okay that's why it's good to have the amount of children you can take care of make sure you do that anyways you are diverting in this video i'm trying to say if you can brush twice a day it is good if you can see a dentist it is good but this video is for affordable feminine hygiene must have okay so a brush and a toothpaste is a must have and then please if you don't have a tongue a tongue scraper run to the supermarket and get one for yourself you need a tongue scraper because sometimes that toothbrush that you thought you are, you are using to brush is not getting the job done it is not i'm telling you for free if you start using a tongue scraper you will see and feel and know the difference nobody needs to tell you okay you need a tongue scraper and this is very very affordable actually i think i got this from shein for two dollars or i think one dollar yeah and if you're going to go to the supermarket to get this it's not supposed to be more than one thousand not supposed to be up to 2k actually yeah next you need a mouthwash you need a mouthwash please this will make your mouth smell good this will keep you let's not say smell good okay you're going too far this is going to keep your mouth fresh all day when i say all day i mean all day you know that feeling of you know when you go out and you have not talked for a very very long time it's not about mouthwash okay make sure you get the ones that have um alcohol i always make a mistake of picking the ones that have zero alcohol i like those ones that have alcohol that will you will feel it working in your mouth okay so you need the ones that have alcohol so that when you use it you put it in your mouth and just make sure you you move it around your gum down all the corners yeah and also you, you need a floss i have a floss actually but i didn't get it here it's not close by anyway you need a floss you can floss your teeth once in a while to get in between your tooth and get out the gunk in there trust me there is also dirt inside there you also need a floss and there are flosses that are plastic that are actually affordable that you can use so now we're going to go down to our armpits we are done with the mouth you know down to our armpits now if you are not like me that likes to wax it's fine you need your you need your what shaving big a shaving big whatever type that you like using yeah shave shave as often as you can i have a very very sensitive skin under my armpits i have when i used to shave i used to have very very severe bumps that no matter what i do no matter how i want to take care of it even if i scrub after i apply oil it doesn't work until i started using my wax my sugar wax but yeah so if you're not the, my type that likes to wax you can use your shaving bit and shave as often as you can see the amount of dirt that builds up in the in the hair under our armpits is what makes us to sweat and smell now you might think that the deodorant you're using is working because you are leaving your hair there why are you leaving so much hair once it comes out and you know that okay when you raise up your hand this doesn't look good anymore shave it off get your roll on very affordable although this was almost 2000 yeah but still this is so good you guys 
this I, I i had to start using this roll-on because the antiperspirant one the spray one got very very expensive so i had to get this one for when i'm going to, going to bed in the night so i just use it as night and this like when you use it it just dries up it dries up and keeps you fresh all through i've never worn this throughout during the day but this this will work for you okay and then you need a body spray whatever kind whatever type you can afford you can get a body spray okay any type of body spray can do it for you from 1000 to 15 2000 anyone that you can afford just spray it all over let me, let me even spray this one and feel good okay and carry your body spray your bag wherever you're going to hmm? especially when you know that it's not that type that lasts for up to six seven hours or even your perfume whichever one that you're using girl is fine just put it in your purse you can get a smaller size of it wherever you're going okay if you need to top up you just top up you can put it in your bag i when i was in the university i love to carry my perfumes in my bag sometimes especially when i go to the supermarket i there's these tiny ones oh, i've forgotten the name of that perfume i love escado escado is it escado i think escado yeah it's kind of something like that. It smells so feminine, so fresh. I used to love to put it in my purse. It's square. The tiny ones, are, I think it was 450 back then or 500. They're about very, very affordable. I'll just pop it in my handbag wherever I'm going. Whenever I remember, oh, I need to top up, I top up because I love, I love perfumes. One of the most compliments I used to get back then in school, a lot of people compliment my perfume so much and it makes me feels so good and that perfume was not even expensive oh. mm? i just top up as whenever i remember i'll just top up and get my compliments and i love you so much okay try and do this my dear you're gonna love yourself you're gonna feel good you're not just doing it because you want people to perceive you as a as a neat girl you're going to feel good for yourself now we go down to the vagina okay a lot of people will tell you not to use your feminine wash, all of that. Where's my feminine wash that I dropped here? Feminine wash and all of that, all of that. But if you can get one for yourself, you get one for yourself. And I already explained how to use a feminine wash. Please don't make a mistake of using this the wrong way. If you use it the wrong way, you will get very very severe problems okay use feminine wash you're not supposed to use it inside the vagina anyways i have a video of how to wash down there correctly to avoid any recurring infection or any infection at all yeah so you can use this and wash down there you can put it on your hands lather it up a bit and wash you can put it on a washcloth that you like lather it up a bit and use whatever works for you okay and allow it to breathe stop wearing tight panties sometimes when you don't have your bath go to your fan open your legs and allow air to 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 penetrate and feel good okay and thank me later you see you see how fresh how happy you are that that oh seriously anyways next um a body soap is good any type of body soap that you know you can get um this is the johnson baby body soap there are so many affordable body soaps that you can get extract ashanti nano um dove uh nivea anyone you know you can afford that you know matches your vibe you can get it even the tour you can even be using the tour okay yeah and just have your bath up to two times a day i have a friend that used to bath up to three times a day because that's what she likes if you can do it you can do it and she's always smelling so good i've never perceived any any nonsense smell from her because she takes her bath up to three times a day but i personally i take twice a day yeah because anybody got time for that okay <laughs> so i have my bath twice a day so if you can do twice a day it's good and sometimes take your time in the shower what is chasing oh stop running nobody's chasing you pat yourself scrub your body very very well use your sponge scrub your body ah i saw a video of of a doctor saying that we don't need sponge to sponge our body sometimes 
and that's actually it. We don't need it sometimes. But if you go outside every single day and you know you sweat you're in, the, in school, you are in the university, you are, you're always outside the sun, use your sponge, please. Leave that serere, putting only body soap and rubbing it all over your body. Leave it, okay? Scrub your body and remember to change your sponge as often as you can. Remember to change your toothbrush as well. Toothbrush every three months. Sponge if you can do every three months as well. Every three months, just change everything you know you need to change. Okay, even three months is too long for sponges, but yeah, let's just leave that three months. Change it. I just bought this one recently and I think this should work. It looks bulky. I don't like bulky sponge, but either way, if I use it and I don't like it, I'll just go and get another one. Okay, but yeah, scrub your body. Give yourself love. Wash it. Wash your skin. Take time. There's some people that enter the bedroom. You enter there and you stay like two minutes. You're out. What? What? Two minutes. I know that you should go and enter there and sleep. Oh. I know that you should enter inside that bedroom and go lie down and doze away. No. Like, take your time and wash your body. Especially when you had a long day and, you know, you're stressed, you're tired. One of the best ways to distress, to D, D E, stress. Is taking a long shower, warm long shower, with music playing in the background. Feel self care. Give yourself self care. Okay, yeah. Now next on the line, the type of pad you use matters when you're in your period. Okay, when you're in your period, the type of pad you use matters a lot. And I don't want to do any advocate for any pad. Okay, at all, at all. But I love me lady care pads it is soft on the skin our skin down there the skin and the vagina place is so so delicate it's so so soft that anything if you use any type of pad you are going to hurt yourself and that's why i love lady care okay so yeah change your pads as often as you can if you are going out you can carry extra you can even carry tampons as well whatever works for you fine make sure you take care of then post menstrual care is also important important we're going to talk about that in another video post menstrual care after your menstruation yeah you need to also take care of down there anyways um and that's all i have for you guys in this video yeah i think so anyways in our next video we're going to be discussing how to shave right to avoid bumps so look out for that video throughout this week we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene and if i have more topics to share Maybe we're going to extend it to next week. Who knows? Anyways, yeah. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know other feminine, uh, basic feminine, affordable uh, things you think we should add or we need. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.